Hello everyone, my name is Jacob Wall. Today's topic is, are we allowed to record in the movie theater? Okay, there was a law passed I believe in 2005 that it, it makes it illegal to record a movie in a movie theater without copyright of the owner's consent. And if you do record in a movie theater, you can get three years in prison with the two hundred and fifty thousand dollar fine. That's why I looked it up on the internet. That's what it says on the internet when I looked it up. So are you allowed to record in the movie theater? The answer is no. You are not allowed to be recording in the movie theater. So that's today's topic I want to bring up today. Sorry today's topic is short. It is time to get saved. Let's go to Romans three twenty three. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That means we all have sinned and we all have made mistakes. None of us is perfect. Let's go to Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Because we all have sinned, we all deserve to die to go to hell. But don't worry, I got another verse to say that's Romans chapter 5, verse 8. But God has his own love toward us, and that while we're still sinners, Christ died for us. Christ died for us. He died for me and you, so we don't have to go to hell when we die. But we have to do one thing, though. And I like to go to Romans 7, 10, verse 9 to 10. We'll jump over to verse 13. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved for with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For whoever calls the name of the Lord shall be saved. Once you ask God to come to your heart, you will be saved. Let's get saved right now. Don't wait till next week because there may not be a next week. All right, let's get saved. Dear Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner and that you have died and rose from the, from the dead for me. Please forgive me for my sin and take me to heaven when I die. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If you just accepted Jesus, you are now saved. First John chapter five verse eleven to thirteen. And this is the testimony that God has given that has God has given us true life, and this life is the Son. Who has the Son has life. He does not have the Son of God, does not have life. These things I have written to you, but who believe in the these things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God. That you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. You can know that you're saved, but it's not a hope so it's a no so. John 10, 28. And I give them eternal life, life and they snare perish, and just claim anyone snatch them out of my hand. I like that verse. No one cannot take you away from God. No one cannot. Let's go to Matthew 28, 18 to 20. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All glory has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things I have come in you. Lo, I'm with you always to the end of the age. Hey, amen. Baptism is next step after being saved. Baptism does not get to heaven. Baptism does not. Let's go to Acts 2, 41 to 42. The notes you had received, his own word, were baptized in that day. About 3,000 souls were added to them, and they continued self fasting, the apostles, doctrine, and fellowship, and the break of bread, eating prayers. Go to church and learn about the gospel. 1 Peter 2 2. As you were based on the desire the poor milk of the word that you may go thereby. Philippines 4 6 7. But he asks us for nothing but everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God which suppresses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Read your Bible and pray every day. Prayer changes things. Last verse. John 3 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish of everlasting life. God loves us. He loves me and you. That's all I have. Our next week's topic is. Are we allowed to take our own popcorn to the movie theater?